In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a link to a category in a WordPress menu. This is part of the WordPress skills playlist on my channel. If you find this video helpful, make sure you check out that playlist because it's going to be super helpful. There's a link to that in the description down below if you want to check it out. My name is Bjorn Allpass in WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your customers, and for your business. If you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss new future videos. Now let's get started. So this is our menu navigation right up here. All we have there right now is a blog page link with a drop down to a shop page. And we're going to add a category as a link to our main menu. There's two main ways you can do this. I'm going to show you both of them. And to do them, we have to go into the dashboard. So let's go into the WordPress dashboard, then hover over appearance and then click on menus. And now we have our menu structure on the right. We want to make sure we're on the correct menu by selecting it from this drop down and then clicking on select. And then the menu will update right here. So make sure it's the one that you actually want to change if you have more than one. And we can add to the menu using the accordion on the left hand side. So this first accordion here is for pages and then posts, products if you have WooCommerce installed, custom links and categories. And product categories, product tags, WooCommerce endpoints, those will appear if you have WooCommerce installed as well. And if you have the category on your site that you want to add, just check the box beside it, click on add to menu, and we can rearrange it by dragging and dropping. We can make it a sub item by dragging and making it indented to a parent item. I'm gonna make it a main item above blog and click on save menu. And now if we go back out to the website, we have our exercise category link right up there. If we click on it, it takes us to the archive for that category. And if you're finding this tutorial helpful, click the like button because that helps this video show up for more people on YouTube so we can spread the knowledge and help more people with this information. So make sure you click like if you like this video. Another way we can do this, if we head back into the dashboard, so let's close this tab and go to appearance and customize and then go to menus. We have our menu options here. We see two here because we have two on our site, two navigation menus. If you have more, you have more listed here. Pick the appropriate one, click on it. And then we see the menu links like we saw just a moment ago. We can click on add items to add more items, choose categories again, and let's add healthy eating. Let's drag it below exercise, close add items, and we see it's already in the menu in this preview area over here. Now, if we click on publish, that will save our changes and that change is live. Let's click on X, let's have a look. Any changes you make in the customizer are not saved to the live site until you press publish. Let's go to visit site and we see our healthy eating category right up there. If you found this video helpful, you're definitely gonna to wanna to check out this playlist right here. It's the WordPress basic skills playlist on my YouTube channel. It'll answer lots and lots of WordPress questions for you. So make sure you check that out. And if you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss new future videos. My name is Bjorn Allpass in WP Learning Lab. Till next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.